making white cabbage kimchi, which is a super easy kimchi that only takes 10 minutes to throw together. The great thing about white cabbage kimchi is that it's very easy to work with. You can easily throw it into a fried rice, make kimchi pancakes, or add it to a stew. In Korea, you often see white cabbage kimchi in Chinese restaurants. I associate it a lot with jajangmyeon. It pairs really well with that. Seven ingredients that are essential for white cabbage kimchi. Of course, white cabbage, garlic and ginger, an apple, spring onion, or an onion if you don't have spring onions is fine, salt, and kochukaru. I know kochukaru isn't available widely at supermarkets outside of Korea, but you can find it at your local Asian market or on Amazon. Optional um, are carrots. I like to add this for a bit of color and fish sauce. Um, it just helps to enhance the flavor. If you're vegan, just leave it out. But what do you need to make the kimchi? Make sure you have an airtight container uh, to host your kimchi. Then a big bowl to mix everything. Um, cling film or a very clean plastic bag. Optional is a blender because this can just make everything a bit quicker, but you can also hand cut everything if you don't have a blender. I'll be showing you both methods in this video. you saw when we were putting the kimchi in there really isn't a lot of liquid yet because it's a dry brine if you take a little taste of the the sauce it's really salty the flavors are sharp there'll be a little bit of sweetness from the apple we've pressed it down to get rid of as much air as possible now we want to leave the kimchi to ferment a few days until it's ready and what i mean by fermenting is just leaving the kimchi at room temperature before we close this off um, 
some people recommend putting a saran wrap or maybe like a clean plastic freezer bag over the kimchi. This is really to make sure that no harmful bacteria can get into the kimchi. So I'm just going to tuck this in around it and pop the cover on. If you will keep it for a long time, um, it's to help prevent bacteria from going in and from the kimchi to oxidize. Other things you should know about fermenting kimchi, keep it in the shade, don't put it in direct sunlight. How long you should ferment this, it really depends on the weather. So if the climate is warm, it could be as fast as one and a half or two days. Um, if it's colder, it could take up to a week. I recommend um, tasting it every 12 hours or so and when you like the flavors, that's when you put it into the fridge to slow down the fermentation. This kimchi, you could eat it right away, but just noting that because it is a dry brine, the cabbage will be quite hard at first. It will probably not have taken in a lot of the flavors, but some people do like their kimchi very fresh, so just go with your personal preference. Whenever you're accessing your kimchi, use a dry and clean spoon. You don't want anything new to get into the kimchi because it could grow a fungus and that's really not great. Mm -hmm.